Welcome to SAP UIFI video tutorials. So in this video, we will see split application concept in SAP UIFI. So what is split application? Split application consists of master pages and detailed pages. So in our previous videos, we just see hello world application where it was a full screen application. It only consisted of one single page. But here in the split application, we are splitting the application into two pages that is master page and the detail page. So with the help of a practical example, I will just explain it to you. In this video, we will see how to create full screen application and split screen application in Eclipse. So let's just start with it. So here is my Eclipse here. And this is the project that we have made already, Hello World application. So in the script tag, we have to write the code. So we will just remove all this code from here. So first I will create a full screen application and when once it is done, I will create split screen application. So we'll ju let's just see the code snippet for this. And here in the index HTML page, we have to do some changes. Let's just copy this and paste it here. So what I have done, what I have, I have declared this app and used this sap.m.app control here and set given the properties initial page as id page 1 that I will create here. So this sap.m.app is the full screen application and if we have to use the split screen application we have to use sap.m.split app. Now we have declared a variable here page 1 and this is the control to declare a view sapui.view and the id is id page 1 and the view name would be com.project.helloworld.page1 So you would be wondering what is this com.project1 For that I would need to code here and I would ha and this is the namespace that I would give here and that would be data sap dot sap ui dot resources resource roots equals to curly braces start and the code starts now here I have to write this particular name that I wish to give as the namespace you could give it as something else meaningful I have given it as com.project So this is the namespace. Now I have to close the quotes here. Then colon and then quotes and closing the curly braces and the quotation. So this is the namespace that I will use in this particular project. So this okay, I have given the spelling through wrong. Okay, that's fine. So com dot project dot hello world dot page one. Now what is this hello world? I have to create a folder within the web content named as hello world. So that's done and the view would be page 1. So now I will create a view within this hello world that would be something like this page 1 page 1 dot view dot xml. So the view that we are using here is XML. So I have created this view. Now what I will do, I, uh, I have created a view. Now I have to create its controller. So that new and go to file and then create a page one dot controller. And controllers are always JS files. Okay, that's done. Now, once this page has been loaded, then I have to add this page with to this app, to this sap.m.app. So that's why I have written app.add page, page one. And I have placed this app in the content. Okay, now I have to do the coding within this page one. I have this code snippet with me.
okay that's done so here this is the view here XML score SAP UI core and the MVC and the default library that we are using is sap.m then the controller name the path of the controller we are giving here this is the namespace this would always come and this is the folder within the within where this page one controller is lying so within the hello world the page one controller is there that's why we have given the path and rest is simple and there is the title that I have given full screen application fine so I am going to save this so now I have to write the code for page one dot controller at first you would think all these codes are very th difficult but believe me these are just default codes though these won't change any time so this would remain always same so this is the namespace again here the controller and this is the folder name hello world and this is the page one controller here so that's it that fine now what I have to do I have to just to save this page and now I will just run this application hope this works run as web preview okay that worked I will just copy this URL here and just run it on Chrome so SAP UI 5 page has been loaded here and the view has been loaded this is the full screen application and I have given the title as full screen application so that's done so now what I will do is I will this full screen application is done now we will move on to the split screen application so that I will use the code from here I will just copy it from here and just I will just comment this and write it somewhere here okay so I just change the indentation I am just I have just beautified the code here just select all and press control shift and F so indentation would be perfect so the first here we could see where application and new SAP dot M dot split app I have already told you if we are using a full screen application we will use SAP dot M dot app otherwise we would use SAP dot M dot split application and here I have given the initial page as ID master page so the master page is this one and we have given the ID as this and we are passing this ID here itself so the in the variable M page that is master page I am have I have given this view name as com dot project dot hello world dot master page so I have to create this master page here and similarly I have to create this detail page here and the hello world I will create a file named as master page master page dot view dot xml enter similarly for that view I have to create a controller master page dot controller dot js so that's done I will just copy this view here copy and paste it to master page so I have to change something here yeah I would change the name of page one as master page master page I will just save it as and here I will use master page master page this is the title of the master page I am saving it as and in the controller I will just use the page one controller here copy and paste it here I have to change this master page that's done and now within the index file we could see I have also defined the detail page I have to also create this detail page here new file detail 
page dot view dot XML fine similarly for this view I have to create the controller here so detail dot controller dot js so that's done I will just copy the code from here page one to the view detail view and this is I have to change this portion here I will just replace it with detail dot okay that's done detail page similarly for the controller I have to copy this and paste it here to change this to detail page copy paste okay now these both steps are done and here what we are doing here like we added the page to the app here similarly we add the master page to the app similarly we add the detail page to the app and once this is done we place the app in the content I'm just going to save this hope this works again refresh okay there is some error here I will just inspect what the error is com project hello world detail page dot controller is not loaded okay let's see what's wrong with it okay here I haven't created the page I have wrongly named the detail page I will just rename rena rename it okay fine now I will just run it again okay this time it worked I will just rename the detail uh, full screen app to detail page here it is and I have to rename it okay so this worked fine so this was the concept of full screen application and split screen application so that's it for this video thanks for watching